Hey, what's up guys? It's John with RussellMarineProducts.com. Today we're out here with Mega Live running that new update and we're gonna go ahead, dive in, see what you guys can expect out of this transducer. All right, you guys, we're out here on El Dorado Lake. We are running the latest Mega Live update. And uh, I know there's been a lot of discussion about the clarity, about you know the bait tracking, about some of the interference issues that people have had with, with the Mega Live and with pretty much any other forward facing transducer. But you know, this Mega Live update, there's been people that have a bunch of different results. So we just wanted to go over what we're experiencing here and uh, we're gonna show you guys what you can expect out of this transducer with the latest updates. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use this remote here to show you guys what we're seeing, but we've got a brush pile out in front of us and you can see those individual limbs there as I rotate the transducer, uh, the trolling motor around. So you can actually see these branches sticking off of this brush pile. You know, you don't have the best definition in the world. I'm not telling you that this is the best forward facing transducer there is out there, but it's definitely usable. You can actually see a fish swimming towards the brush pile there. Um, and you can see some other activity going on around it. Earlier, I was seeing some fish that were pretty much glued to the bottom as well. So it's going to be something that you can definitely use to target individual fish. We've showed you guys some other screenshots and screen recordings that we've taken before this update. Um, but this does seem to help out. I've seen a lot of people say that their bait tracking has improved. I've never really had a problem with following my bait on the Mega Live. It seems like you get some pretty good distance out of it. Uh, you're not going to get, you know, 100 feet out necessarily, but I like to keep mine at 80, and I seem to get some pretty good information uh, within that range. You know, something that Brett and I have talked about recently uh, on one of our videos talking about the cone width. Sometimes you guys aren't seeing your bait because your bait isn't actually in the cone. So that's something to consider as well. Um, so as you guys can see on the screen here, we're seeing uh, these, are, these are concrete blocks that are on the bottom. And I'll rotate the trolling motor around. You can see we're going over some stuff right now as well. Not a lot of fish up in the water column right now, um, but if there were fish in the water column, you're definitely gonna see them. And I haven't had any issues seeing them out to that 70, 80 feet. The further out you get, you know, 70, 80 feet, you may have a little more difficulty tracking your bait. But um, again, that is something that we did see a, a pretty drastic improvement on this update. One of the other things is the trolling motor interference. I had some trolling motor interference issues before this update, uh, and I just kind of dealt with it. You know, this, I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any at all. I'm running the trolling motor right now. I'm not having an issue at all. Um, I also saw with some previous updates, we were running Mega 360 as well. You'd see some interference between Mega Live and Mega 360. Um, I think maybe the update before last did away with most of that 360 interference. So, you know, Humminbird is constantly coming up with improvements in the form of software updates for the Mega Live. A lot of you guys are asking, you know, when is the version two coming out? You're seeing some sales going on for the holidays. Uh, I don't think there's necessarily a, a new transducer right around the corner, but I think that if you have Mega Live or you're looking to purchase it with these new updates, it's definitely something that you can throw on your boat and, and catch fish with. So. I would say it's probably geared more towards those guys that are running all Humminbird. I don't think if you've got a boat full of Lorances or Garmin's you necessarily run out and get a Humminbird unit to run Mega Live on because 
you're going to miss out on a few things like like the range uh, range and a little bit of clarity but again you're going to be able to go out catch fish with this technology and i think for the most part it's going to do everything that you want it to do let's go around here see if we can find you can see some little bait fish on the bottom there Let's make one more pass around at this brush pile and see if we can get a different look at it from another angle. You know, this is a, a, good, a good opportunity to talk about what you see at the top of the screen there. I have removed the, the Mega Live mask from this transducer and, and you're picking up some of the, uh, some of the rays off of the, the sun and they're penetrating into the top of that water column. Um, if you guys are having that issue, also if you're seeing some, some double images, if you're seeing your lure twice or a fish twice, that's from the reflection of the sun and you can actually put a Mega Live mask on and it will eliminate some of the, some of the uh, reflection of the sun as well as eliminate those double images. So I've done a video on that. You guys can check that out as well, but it's a pretty easy deal. Just a little adhesive piece of foam that will stick right on your transducer. So we can see something on the bottom there. It looks like some brush is what it looks like. And then we've got some more stuff going on over here. That might be one of those concrete blocks that we saw earlier. I think we're getting a little bit closer to our brush pile. And I do just want to remind you that I am running factory settings right now. So we could, we could dial this in a little bit more. Um, but my suggestion for you guys, if you're trying to dial in your Mega Live, you're not going to have to go on one end of the spectrum or the other. You know, your factory settings are going to be, you know, 10 out of 20. And I think you might be, you know, a couple, a couple clicks down or a couple clicks up. You're not going to probably be at 20 or, or be at zero, right? You're not going to have to make very many adjustments. Um, but if we can go, here's, here's our brush pile here, a little bit different angle. There's a fish right there on top of it. Still getting some of that penetration from the sun. As you can see, it's right in front of us here. As far as the clarity out of the Mega Live, uh, or the or the no the noise, I should say, you really don't get a whole lot of clutter. You really don't get a whole lot of clutter on the screen, and actually, you get far less than the other forward-facing transducers out there. As you can see, I don't have a bunch of clutter filling up the screen. You don't see where the beams are stitched together either, uh, which is which is pretty nice as well. So. You know, those are some of the things that, that I have come to notice. Uh, I've been using this Mega Live for, for a while now. And as far as the beam stitching and the clutter, I think Mega Live is, is definitely top notch. And I'll be ready for Mega Live too. But definitely in the meantime, this is something that you guys are going to be able to get out there and utilize to make yourself more efficient on the water. All right, you guys, we just wanted to give you a little update on Mega Live. This is the 1.290 Mega Live update. You want to make sure you update your unit as well, and you'll be able to get the optimal performance out of your Mega Live transducer. We're seeing uh, an extension in, in range, we're seeing a little bit better in bait tracking, and definitely reduced interference. So if you guys are on the fence on whether or not you should update your transducer and your unit, I would say go ahead and do it. And uh, hopefully you guys have some good experience with this Mega Live like I have. If you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comment section below, or shoot us an email over to sales at russellmarineproducts.com or give us a call at 316-313-4113. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade-in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.